Kremlin's first public response to a bid by United States President Barack Obama for a dramatic cut to the two countries' nuclear weapons arsenals was distinctly unenthusiastic, with President Vladimir Putin saying Russia has no intentions whatsoever of weakening its nuclear forces. We must take into account the realities of the day. We can't allow the strategic deterrent system to be upset or the effectiveness of our nuclear forces to be decreased. For this reason, the creation of the aerospace defense system will continue to be one of the key priorities in military development. Putin made the remarks to state television during a visit to a factory that manufactures the S-300 missile, which is an advanced weapon designed to shoot down aircraft and missiles at long range. Western analysts have criticized S-300 as potentially destabilizing to the United States-Russia nuclear balance because, if widely deployed, the missile could potentially disable an American nuclear strike. But Putin said S-300 was critical for Russian national security and deployment would continue. Ante, the manufacturer of the S-300, says the system is capable of shooting down aircraft, rockets, and even warheads from intercontinental ballistic missiles. Russia has vowed deliveries of the weapon to Syria will go forward. U.S. President Barack Obama on Tuesday, in a Berlin speech, said he would commit America to negotiating with Russia for cuts to the two countries' nuclear arsenals by a third. But the Kremlin's response to the American leader's appeal thus far has been not interested. So today I'm announcing additional steps forward.